Sorry, sir. But why the fuck did you choose me as the gimp? Am I the expendable candidate? No, no, no. You don't talk to me like that. You have a complaint, you come here and you whisper it in my ear. Now, I know how much you like the art, Johnny boy, so I thought that'd look good on your wall. Now, that must have been expensive. As it happens, it did cost a very wealthy Russian an arm and a leg. On the 40 metres, and I'm making solid progress. But I just wondered if I could get a few bits of advice and some tips. How do you land, exactly? Welcome home. The little pug that Eggsy was keeping, isn't its name a joke on Justin Bieber? Oh, because he's JB. Oh, I see. Could be. Is that someone saying that Justin Bieber looks like a pug? I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. Justin Bieber doesn't look like a pub, pug. Once Eggsy puts on his fancy suit, he turns from some hip-hop style dawdler into a rich gentleman. We have to go feeling good with him. I'm just very pleased that anyone would ever describe me as hip-hop. Yeah. What with me being a little sort of boy from Wales, I'm quite pleased that I could but be not just hip-hop hip -hop dawdler. A hip-hop dawdler. That's how you would describe that it. classic hip-hop style, hip-hop yes. dawdler. Armstrong has been acting is in minor roles but attracting lots of fans since Rock and Roller. That's really great. I mean, fans is always a good thing, and I'm glad that everybody's happy with what I'm doing. So thank you. Archie, Archie, Archie you were in Rock and Roller. Archie isn't? and Rock and Roller. Yeah, yeah we're great. There's, uh, there's a few of them now. I've been around a while. Mm. Edgerton is so handsome that I can't stop fantasising about him. Well, what can you say about? Well, that? thank you very much. I hope I live up to all your expectations in a fantasy, because I certainly don't in real life. Oh, you're being <laughs> humble now. At first I thought Eggsy was going to make a couple with Roxy, then I thought, well, it might better be Harry. But wait, Harry died. It should be a couple with Gazelle this time. But at last it turned out to be Princess Tildy. How come? That was a sort of stream of consciousness, wasn't it? Really? <laughs> that was just sort of someone thinking out loud. Yeah. Um, I think the princess is obviously very beautiful and very lovely and funny, and he cares a great deal about her. Um, and there may be some other reasons as well why he digs her, but probably not suitable to talk about right now. Before the movie ending, I thought Merlin is a traitor, just because his face always makes me think of villains. See, now, is that because you play lots of villains or because she thinks you have a villainous face? I think a bit of both, don't you? A combo? Yeah, although... Well, maybe it's because I've been lots of villains and it's hard for her to think of Merlin as not being a villain. But he's not, he's a good guy. And he's lovely. Yeah. I'm pretty sure what female audiences are thinking this time, they're dreaming either to be adopted by Taron so that they can sleep with Colin Firth or to be adopted by Colin Firth and sleep with Taron. Right. Mm. Those things are mutually exclusive, are they? Either you have to, in order to sleep with me, in order to sleep with me, you have to be adopted by Colin Firth. Mm -hmm. It's quite strange, isn't it? Yeah. Weird. Let's really weird. Let's not go there. I don't like Eggsy after all he's been through. Probably because he gained one of the negative qualities of many agents, messy relationships. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, Bond has had a sort of turbulent time with women, hasn't he? Yeah. So I'm sorry about that. I'm but sorry the about that. Also is that. Has Harry had messy relationships? In the well, past I don't know. We don't no know. We don't know a great deal about Harry's relationships, do we? No. I wonder why that could be, who knows. Colin Firth and Mark Strong should stick together with each other and leave the young guy and the dog for me, please. So that's you. You're right. the young guy and the dog. So basically what you're saying is that me and Colin should get out of the picture so that you can get in for Taryn and the dog. Well, okay, fair enough. I'll have a word with Colin and see how we get on. Kingsman the Secret Service, Mark Strong has got the sexiest bear head in the world. Fantastic. How about then with that? I mean, right. how is a bearhead sexy? But, you know, thank you. That's very kind. Compliment pile, obviously. Why? <laughs> Why? Do... <laughs> Listen to this one. Why does Taron look like a small man intoxicated by success in his suit? Who knows? Are they fans? Is that... Do they come under no. fan? This, that's the insult pile. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from the Brothers Grimsby, the only barrage in my head when I watch this movie, why on earth would Mark Strong make this movie? Ankle shattered, you need to carry me. Come on, get over my shoulder. <laughs> oh. 
but fair enough. It's a fair comment because it's very different from all the other films that I've ever made. But I'll tell you exactly why, because working with Sasha Baron Cohen was an opportunity that I couldn't pass up. So that's a simple answer. It's this one. More insults. <laughs> All of the old actors in the cast have surprisingly long legs, <laughs> which makes Eggsy look like the Hobbit, despite his 179 centimetre height. It's all relative, isn't it? It is all relative. Can't believe Eggsy is a fan of Millwall. Tapped on dislike. I'm presuming that's because there is a kind of reputation that some Millwall fans have for being a little bit unruly. But I don't think that's all Millwall fans, so maybe we shouldn't tarnish them all with the same brush. What a huge sacrifice Mark Strong made for this movie. It's too dirty for me to watch. <laughs> so, have you watched it or not watched it? Because if you haven't watched it, how do you know I made a sacrifice? And if you have watched it, then that's a fib, isn't it? I a little white lie you've told there, so you probably have watched it. Edgerton has acted with Colin Firth, Hugh Jackman and Tom Hardy. Isn't that the dream of all girls? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Certainly mine. Yes. Edgerton's acting is great. However, I only love Hugh Jackman. That's the insult pile again. Can't, can't. We've yeah. slipped back into the insult pile here somewhere, haven't we? Oh, Grimsby again, Brother Grimsby. If I, I, well, I could manage to watch Mark Strong with a proper attitude for the first half of the movie, but stopping the rocket <laughs> with an arsehole. <laughs> I don't think I'll watch any of Mark Strong's films for a long time. Watch your boys at Grimsby. Together, forever. Well, that's your prerogative. And, <laughs> you know, if you're unhappy about rockets and arseholes, there's not much I can do about it. But the fact is, if you don't watch King in the Golden Circle, you'll be missing out. Edgerton gained, Edgerton, Edgerton gained weight for this movie and finally became a fat ball. <laughs> <laughs> A fat, <laughs> a fat ball. I've never heard that term before, but thank you very much. Then Eddie the Eagle is again here. This is Taron is so fat. How could you fly? That's lovely. Yeah. Thank you. It's getting him the compliments. Mile, <laughs> yeah, it seems to be, it does seem to be getting a little bit worse as we go along. This, isn't it? Yeah. Um, another comment from the brothers. Do you may I ask if Mark Strong uses real testicles or stage property? What do you think? I mean, why am I going to put my real testicles on film? It doesn't make any sense. So obviously they were a stage. <laughs> when I saw Hugh Jackman raise Taron Edgerton, I was confused if I was watching Dirty Dancing. That's it. Ah! Oh, the most shattering physical and emotional experience of your life, and that's the noise you make? But it's in England, yeah. <sighs> Frankly, I'm just relieved that that's not, it was, didn't turn into something about Hugh Jackman struggling to lift me because of my weight. I think that was, it was designed to be like the, the, the dirty dancing moment. It was a little bit of a, a nod of the head there. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. The height, this is more Eddie the Eagle, which is fun. Um, the height difference between Edgerton and other male characters breaks my heart. Thank you very much. That's just another little complex. I'm just a child. <laughs> I, I was like, WTF for the whole time. Please, Mark Strong, go back to your fancy drama stage. So I, I hear what you're saying, that Grimsby obviously did your head in. You want me to go back on stage, but if you're just a child, what are you watching your brother's Grimsby? Yeah. You've got four children. Okay. I admire the acting skills of Taron Edgerton. He perfectly builds the image of a stubborn, rigid, and stupid guy. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's three years of drama school training for you. Edgerton is so cute. He is a born idiot. Nice. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. I think Mark Strong looks familiar to me ever since Kick Ass, and, and this movie told me the answer. He's the villain in Despicable Me. <laughs> That's not well you. Well spotted. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not the villain in Despicable Me, but I get where you're coming from. I could get pregnant just by listening to Edgerton sing. That's lovely. This is more the end that's of the market that I enjoy. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's from a man. Comment from Legend, Edgerton is beautiful and sexy, like a woman of the gang boss. I don't know what that means, but that's all I the, think it's a compliment. I think it's a compliment. Yeah. Um, so thank you very much. Yeah. Thank like you. a mole, like a gangster's mole, maybe. But
The woman of the gang boss. I put horses' heads in people's beds. Because I am the mole. You're all pregnant now. Every yeah, single one of you. <laughs> Including the men. It's the movie with most M's in history. The horse face of Cumberbatch, pronounced Ma in Chinese, Mark Strong and Matthew Good. So that's true. There's a lot of M's in the invitation game. That's really obscure. <laughs> it's a lovely observation. Yeah. OK. The horse face of Cumberbatch. He's going to be good. The laugh of Edgerton at the end is so crazy, it can scare you out of the bed if you set it as the wake-up bell. I do have a very, it's, a, it's quite a jarring, horrid laugh I have in that movie. <laughs> Coming from Legend, Edgerton has no acting skill. He is out of the play. Well, well that's, no. that is tough. That's, that's tough, no that's tough. No acting skill. Zero acting skill. Um, Mark Strong with hair is not distinctive at all, like some random actor. Thanks very much. I perceive that to be a compliment, so thank you. <laughs> Comment from Kings with the Golden Circle. Eggsy, lo Eggsy, Eggsy looks is exactly the same as Harry. The outfit, the manner, the temperament, and in all ways, in a per it is a perfect explanation. As after you leave, I become you. Hashtag power of love hashtag. Hope they could make a couple out of Eggsy and Champ. What, Jeff Bridges? Jeff Bridges. That's just being silly now. That's a bit, that's a little, that's Come a little, yeah. It's if you thought bit. Tildy was old, how old's yeah. Jeff? He's got to be 70. Yeah. That's just That's weird. serious toy boy that's stuff, weird. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The mission to blow these fuckers away! Dark Zone confirmed. The mission to fire. Thank fuck for that! Thanks for those amazing insults. Amazing. We're both now going to go and have a little bit of therapy. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to learn to act. I'm going to learn to I'm act. I'm going to get some hair. <laughs> la, 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 why, why do you get two and I only get one? Are we rationing? <laughs> Another Grimsby. Have you got anything that isn't from the screen? <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about the <laughs> golden circle, mate? <laughs> three. I just got up to two, and now he's got three. Is it, is it sort of fan like that? Oh, great, there's more. Lovely. I'm still only on two. This is three. There's three more of those. Lovely. <laughs>